Snagging bunker is a great way to get bait for striped bass, and many anglers make the mistake of basically using an old rod with bad line and snagging bunker, and sooner or later, what happens? They're snagging bunker, they catch the right fish because it grabs their bunker, and their gear is not ready for it. We always want to make sure that we put the right line on the right reel and have the right rod when we're snagging bunker. This is a very stout seven foot rod from Penn. We've got a, a reel loaded with 30 pound fire line. This has enough muscle to basically fight any size fish we might catch and is a perfect outfit for snagging. When we get down to the business end of this, basically what we like to do is use a naked treble. This happens to be a 12-0. We often use a 10-0. It's a little bit smaller. But either way, these trebles with no weight on them are going to be a lot more effective than a weighted treble. When you're fishing from a boat, you can usually get close enough to the bunker that you're going to have enough casting distance, especially with this thin diameter fire line, to throw a treble like this, which will sink slowly and stay in the hit zone where the bunker are for a much longer period of time. Basically, we cast out, we let the line sink, we hold it tight, and when we feel a little tick on the line, we take a swing and we're hooked up. Sometimes you might need a little extra casting distance, especially when using a smaller hook like a 10-0. So a cute trick for that is to basically take some solder and take your 10-0 hook and just wrap the solder around the shank of the hook. And what you're doing is you're adding weight to this hook, not really affecting its, its ability to snag bunker. You just trim it off, and we've got a nice intermediate weight treble. So having a roll of solder on the boat lets you easily customize your trebles so we need that little extra bit of casting distance. For more information like this and other tips on snagging bunker, fishing for striped bass, and all the Northeast regional species, please visit our website at neangling.com or just Google Northeast Angling.